Hello everyone and welcome to our video series on Learn German for Beginners. In the last lesson you learned how to conjugate the two verbs haben and sein. Let's understand in this lesson what a verb is, what is its function and what is the structure of a verb. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for learning German for free and in the easiest way. We offer structured courses for A1, A2, B1 and B2 and a variety of topics from grammar and vocabulary to common mistakes one can make in German. You can also visit our page on patreon.com to get free worksheets, transcripts, early access to our videos and more. So let's begin. Lektion 13 Once again, Lektion 13. Was ist ein Verb? What is a verb? Let's first go through the learning objectives of this lesson. We will first discuss what is a verb, followed by its structure. Finally, you will learn what are regular and what are irregular verbs. Coming to the first part. What is a verb? Was sind Verben? Here is an example. Ich spiele Fußball. The verb here is spiele, that is to play. I play football. As you can notice, the verb describes an action. The sentence structure depends on the verb. Let's see how does that happen. Verbstruktur Let's analyze a verb we have already done. Lernen This form of the verb is known as the infinitive form of the verb. Each infinitive form has a stem or the Verbstamm and an ending or the Endung. All verbs in infinitive form have either the ending an or just n. This way you can easily recognize the infinitive form of a verb. Here are some more verbs in their infinitive forms. You already know these verbs in some way or the other. Heißen, sprechen, kommen, wohnen, hören, machen. The best way to remember a verb is to remember its infinitive form. However, when we make a sentence, the verb has to be conjugated. Here are two examples. Verbkonjugation Ich komme aus China. Kommt ihr aus Japan? As you can see, both these sentences have the same verb, but it is conjugated differently. The conjugation of the verb depends on the subject in the sentence. In the first sentence, it is ich and in the second one, it is ihr. We have done these pronouns in one of the previous lessons. So the verb you pick up has to be conjugated according to the subject in a sentence. The verb conjugation in German is very simple. You take the verb stem or Verbstamm and simply add the ending to it. How would you know which ending to take? Well, this depends on the subject. We will be doing these in details in the next lessons. However, the conjugation of a verb depends on two important things. Firstly, the person. Are we talking about the first person, second person or the third person? Same also applies to things. Secondly, also on whether this person or thing is in singular or plural. And for all these, we have some pronouns, which we have learned in lesson 11. So every verb is conjugated according to the personal pronouns. If you remember, that's how we conjugated the verbs haben and sein in the previous lesson. Apart from these rules, you will also come across the fact that in German there are two basic types of verbs, regular verbs and 
irregular verbs. Regelmäßige Verben und unregelmäßige Verben. Now let's see what these verbs are. Regelmäßige Verben. These verbs are also known as schwache Verben. Here we just take the stem of the verb or the verb stamm and add an ending to it according to the subject in the sentence. In these verbs, the stem of the verb doesn't change at all. For example, lernen. The verb stamm is lern and the ending of the infinitive verb is an. When we conjugate this verb, we keep the verb stamm and just add the ending according to the subject. That is, in this case, du is the subject. The conjugated verb will be lernst. This is because with the pronoun du, the verb ending should always be st. Hence, we have the verb stamm lern plus the ending st, du lernst. However, in the case of unregelmäßige Verben, also known as starke Verben, the conjugated verb takes the verb stem or the verb stem, which changes in certain cases. Let's take the verb sprechen. The verb stem is sprech and the ending of the infinitive verb is an. When we conjugate this verb, the verb stem changes and the ending is added according to the subject. That is, in this case, du is the subject. The conjugated verb will be sprichst. First, the verb stamm changes. In place of e in sprechen, we have an e. The ending remains the same as other verbs. As discussed before, the change in the verb stamm will take place but the ending remains. There are some irregular verbs where the verb stem doesn't change, but they are still irregular. With the pronoun du, the verb ending should always be st. Hence, sprichst has the verb stem sprich plus the ending st, du sprichst. In the next two lessons, we will be conjugating a few regular verbs and a few irregular verbs in detail. Let's first quickly go through some of the verbs you should know. Regelmäßige Verben Heißen Wohnen Machen Spielen Studieren Arbeiten Unregelmäßige Verben Schlafen Essen Sehen Nehmen, Treffen, Fahren. Now let's summarize what we have learned in this lesson. The verb describes an action. The structure of a sentence depends on the verb. Every verb has an infinitive form, which is made up of the Verbstamm or Verbstamm and Endung, an ending. While using a verb in a sentence, it has to be conjugated according to the subject. There are two types of verbs, regelmäßige Verben und unregelmäßige Verben, regular verbs and irregular verbs. Both these types of verbs are conjugated differently. In regular verbs, the verb stem remains unchanged, whereas in irregular verbs, the verb stem changes. The endings are the same as per the subject. Great! Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Become a patron free of cost and download a free worksheet from our page on patreon.com. All links can be found below in the description. You can also gain access to our transcripts by becoming a $1 patron and to our podcasts by becoming a $5 patron. Danke! Thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you still haven't. 
you can click on the bell to receive notifications whenever we upload a new video. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Tschüss, auf Wiedersehen!